Ross is like a slightly more grown up Casey. <laughs> and over the last five seasons, or in five years, you have proven to be true leading man material. Um, Your checks in the mail. What, <laughs> what have you learned about yourself from playing Casey? Uh, about myself, I don't know. I, I would like to aspire to the nobility that Peter has developed over the course of the five years. I mean, I think the sacrifices that he's made for love and for family are, are uh, on an epic scale. I don't know that I've got that in me quite yet. So I don't know how much I've learned about myself, but I certainly have had, it's been a great joy, particularly with John, to go from being the the son to the father figure back to being the son and now figuring out how we're going to end this uh, this relationship between these two men. I, I don't know how much I've learned really about anything. <laughs> but it's been a, the process has been a pleasure. Right, and Anna, you came to us as most of us as a stranger. And uh, and then boom. <laughs> you will always be our live. Always. The greatest lesson Olivia has taught you. Oh God, I just do this. You know all these pauses, and I'm so. <laughs> um, I was just, you know, isn't that so funny? Because you play this character for ages and ages, and you hear the name all the time, blah blah blah. But when you called me Olive, then my heart melted. It's like being called Ad, like my mom calling me Addie or something. <laughs> so I feel, I must feel attached. I don't know the biggest lesson. I think it's to come, to tell you the truth. Um, I think it's to come. I feel like a... Uh, I, I feel like a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, that's what we need to teach Olivia to do. She's so funny. Keep doing it. <laughs> Go on, darling, you tell me. I don't know. Please, let's move on. All right. <laughs> all right, John. I think we'll have to let you all hear from that. that. I can't be a leading Christian. All right. I, 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 like I said, I, I think we'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. You have uh, stolen our hearts. You have broken our hearts. You have, uh, you have proven that awards mean nothing. Goodbye to this family. You know, they are like a family, and I get, I get sort of cross when anything happens to any of them, and defensive and angry. And so, if anyone needs to say, we'll be moving cars or something, I'm like, fucking angry. At a personal level, there's a shift. Take it all a bit personally, but they have become family. And uh, I don't think it would work with a group of people for five years without developing a strong relationship. And we do, we actually do have a, have a very, I, I, get, I get the sense that the group of people I work with would have each other's back. It's true of many, many things. Even though we may, we may disagree on many things at times, and we do, of course. But I just said that the real sense of solidarity. I love that, and, uh, and I don't think that would go away anyway. What's, was that the question, or do you want to ask me what I've learned from Walter? <laughs> Well, I've learned to come to work every day and enjoy it. <laughs> to turn up. <laughs> Some golden work. Yeah, you really got my back, John. <laughs> yeah, you really got it. Thanks, yeah. buddy. <laughs> well, I hate the man. And I'm hollow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, it's so bad. Uh, so what, what we've learned, hang on, I'll finish. <laughs> What we've learned, this is a bit sloppy, but what we've learned is about the power of love in this story. And, uh, and the thing that holds fringe together is the power of love. Because it's between all of the characters, there's developed genuine love. 
And that's, I, I'm sure that's why the, the you guys have followed it through. You know, the love between the father and the son, the love between Peter and Livia, the, the wonderful bonds that have existed between these people that have to work together, because that's what we associate with. So through all of the science fiction, all of the great sort of hurdles that we've gone through, it's that, that love factor that's kept us going in. And, and, and will give us a brilliant one of chat. You can't hear me. <laughs> Alright, so speaking of love, um, Josh and Anna, this couple, we have watched yeah. We have watched these two dance around, flip universes, street body. Yeah. It's your um, typical boy meets girl, boy crosses universe, girl goes to other universe, boy sleeps with her doppelganger story. <laughs> Go get pregnant. Yeah, exactly. Doppelganger gets pregnant, has baby too fast, baby gets <laughs> out by interdimensional war, new baby is born, lost to future, finds dad, searching for mom. Sorry. <laughs> You just got the blurb for the DVD box. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not giving away too much. No, I think we need a raise. That's pretty really good. But what is really good? Without spoiling anything. <laughs> okay. um, do you know, at least, if these two will get their happily ever after? Are we, well, right. I can't say that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. you, Mr. Wyman. No, no. You can't get anything away. <laughs> this will just stay between us, right? <laughs> I think that these two will get the final chapter of their story. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, the fun part of it is, and we're not to just be producery, but the fun part of watching the show and making the show is the process of discovery. This is why, more or less, we always try to stay away from spoiling things, not because we're trying to tease you, but because it's much more fun to watch it week to week. Like, I have a, speaking of Breaking Bad, one of our DPs from the first season of Fringe is on Breaking Bad. I love that show with, like, a, a really, probably overly intense passion. Stalkery. Stalkery. And I refuse to talk to him during the season or email him because I don't want to know because I want to be able to discover it for myself. And so I think that story and all of these stories are coming to some version of a conclusion. And, and frankly, you know, the, the characters don't end when the show ends, but we'll tell our final chapter of the on-air story. And that's what this season will be. It's our last journey together. <laughs>